Today we're gonna make this really cool modern gothic coat rack. I was inspired to build this project when I thought about making 3D printed faux wrought iron brackets. So let's start in Fusion 360 where I'll show you the design process. Most of the work here was drawing the blacksmith curls with splines, and I spent a lot of time playing with the control points to get these shapes just right. In a lot of these wrought iron brackets, the curls are welded to the flat steel frame, so I sketched in some weld profiles as well. After extruding the bracket into 3D, I inset the curls by an eighth of an inch to give it a more realistic look. The bracket was starting to look really cool, but it still had a flat two-dimensional look. So to make it pop, I started by adding welds to the flat side by drawing profiles perpendicular to the face and then sweeping them along the edge. I used the loft tool to create a bevel between the perpendicular welds. Finally, I added some fillets and bevels to make the bracket look more like bent steel and soften up some of the edges. If you want to print your own brackets, both the STL and Fusion 360 files are available on my website, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. This 3D model is symmetrical through the middle, so to save time, I did all of the sculpting on one side and then just mirrored all those features onto the other side. I printed the brackets using PETG filament with 15% infill. PETG stands for polyethylene terephthalate glycol, and it's both stronger and less brittle than your standard PLA, or polylactic acid. Each bracket took 7 hours and 20 minutes to print on my Prusa Mark IIIs, which included a bunch of support material to hold up the inset curls. At least in my experience, a downside of PETG is that the support material can be really hard to remove, and it doesn't leave the nicest finish where the support material meets the rest of the print. We'll deal with the finish later on, but first we gotta get this stuff off. I was able to get this side to a nice smooth finish with a utility knife, rotary tool, and some hand sanding, but after all of that it was really dull compared to the rest of the print. However, I was able to restore the shine with two coats of some water-based polyurethane. Alright, time for some demolition. If you've seen my videos before, you might recognize this piece as the carcass of the plywood fountain. That project didn't quite work out, and I was running low on 3 quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, so I thought I would sacrifice this guy to make the coat rack. From the old emerges the new. I cut the pieces of wood so that the brackets are inset by an inch on their top and bottom edges, and so that the top piece of wood overhangs the bottom by 3 eighths of an inch on either side. Detailed dimensions are in the description. I attached the back piece to the shelf with wood glue and 1.5 inch 18 gauge brad nails. I finished the wood with three coats of Verithane diamond wood finish in semi-gloss. This is the same finish that I used on the 3D printed brackets. 
I have a bunch of these drunk octopus wants to fight coat hooks, and they were pretty perfect for the rack, except that their brushed silver finish didn't really match the rest of the piece. So I got the idea to dip paint them black, but first, I had to rough up the finish so that the paint would adhere. The dip painting was surprisingly easy to set up with just a cardboard box, some fishing line, a few nuts, and a can of black paint. This dip paint method created a really thick coat of paint, so I left these guys to dry for a full day before cutting them free. I did have to drill mounting holes through the brackets because I forgot to add these to my 3D model. However, I did update the model that's available on my website to include mounting holes that are the same size and location as the ones you see here. I inset each bracket about a quarter inch from the edge of the rack to keep with that stacked aesthetic. I spaced the gothic drunk octopus hooks evenly across the center of the back piece. The only thing left to do was mount the rack with assistance from Eden and Abby. Are you doing something funny on camera? I <laughs> this wall has brick behind it, so I used masonry anchors to mount the rack. And with that, this funky, unique coat and key rack was done. As you might have noticed, the lighting in our hallway is pretty bad, so we opted to take the beauty shots in our well-lit living room. Eden has been asking for a key rack for months now, and it took me this long to design something that I was really excited about, and I am super happy with the final result. I especially love the paint drips on the drunk octopus hooks. If you download and 3D print the brackets, I would love to see your results. You can tag me on Instagram at MorleyKurt, and be sure to follow me over there to see what I'm up to between videos, including many cute stories featuring our puppy Abby.